should have jumped. So I take it he hasn't gone yet? Nope. He is hanging on. Like a yeast infection. <laughs> it's crazy, Neff. Every time I go to watch TV, he's there. Or if I go to the fridge, he's there. And the toilet rim. The man has no aim. Oh. Oh. He's driving me crazy with the talking. I never met anybody who knew every damn thing. Well, girl, you just want to crash at my house for the weekend. Thank you, Neff. But I actually got lucky this weekend. Latrell is going to take him to Temecula to the casino. <laughs> you feel me? You... <laughs> so what are you going to do with all that free time? Well, unfortunately, I have a lot of work to catch up on. As usual, I'm swamped with paperwork while Daddy's on the golf course closing deals. Why don't you just get an intern? It is the in thing to do, and the price is free. Where do you think we got that sexy little Filipino houseboy? Oh, tutu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, that's a really good idea. Oh. I'll get an intern. Mm. It's all about delegation. Mm -hmm. Let somebody else do the hard work for you. Good one, Fabian. Well, well, well. <laughs> You can never be mad at an intern. Unless they're wearing a little blue dress with a single polka dot on it. <laughs> Good morning, Emily. What's up? Oh, did you get that from the Mark Simpson collection? <laughs> so are all these people here for the intern position? I guess. I wasn't all up in their business. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Why do we need an intern anyway? No, boo-boo. I'm getting an intern. Someone who values their job and can really be an asset to this place. Oh, so you would stoop that low to slip somebody right underneath my nose? I wouldn't do that to a dog. What are you talking about? Please, this has nothing to do with you. <sighs> Whatever. You know, just know, y'all gonna have to drag me out of here kicking and screaming before I let one of these buffy asses come up in here and kick me to the curb. Calm down. Look, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but you're like family. You know the kind you don't come in. <laughs> Can I come to the family cookout this time? Please? Sure. <laughs> Look, just don't worry. No one's trying to take your job. Just bring the interns in one by one. Okay. Okay. Does that mean I'm in charge? <laughs> HB Austin? <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right, Meg, it's Lana. Come on now. Some of y'all look like y'all been to county. Mm-hmm. There's a new sheriff in town, and her name is I'm Unique. You have all of me, boy? Shoulders back. Get in there. Walk up straight. <laughs> what are you all giddy about? Because I'm happy. I finally have the help I so desperately needed. Help? Hell, I do all the work around here. Oh, yeah, because it's so hard to figure out whether or not to use a nine iron or a seven. I will have you know that I have closed more deals on the golf course in the last year than you've even thought about. Okay, okay. Don't get your blood pressure all up. Who was that dude I saw in the lunchroom earlier? That is Gilbert, my intern. I want you to meet him. Hold on. Uh, Gilbert, come on in here. I want you to meet my father. Gilbert, this is Delroy Jones. Oh, can I say it is an honor to meet you, sir? Yes. Uh, guess what? <laughs> that it is an honor to meet me. <laughs> I'll give you an autograph picture later. Those papers for me and stack them on my desk. Okay. Uh, nice meeting you, sir. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> and how much are you paying, Egghead? He gets paid in school credits. Oh. It is the perfect situation. He needs me and I need him. Free is good. <laughs> Just make sure you keep the leader of the Geek Squad out of my way. I'll pass along the word, Meanie. Uh, that's Mr. Meanie to you. Neff, back to whole double date thing. No, I'm not feeling Corey like that. He's just too young. I mean, he is smart and very cute. 
No, but I, I waited for him to make a move on me, and he never did. You're right, maybe I intimidate him. Mm. Well, he needs to make a move soon. All right, girl, I'll call you back. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, hey, Gilbert. Are you done already? Yeah. Good. Um, look, I think we're gonna have to work late tonight, so I was thinking we'd order takeout and stay at my place. Is that all right? I I'm fine with it. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we'd get way more done there than we ever would here. Do you like tacos? Please, Mom. I love tacos. Hold that. Hold that right there. I'm gonna burn that. <laughs> Use your restroom to wash my hands. Oh, sure. Go ahead, it's right there. aggressive types. Come on, Mama, don't fight it. Come on. Oh, little boy, I will cut you. <laughs> I heard you on the phone say I wasn't aggressive enough for you. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey. you thought I was talking about you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. I was talking about a, a blind date. Come on, now. You don't have to fight it. Don't let the glasses fool you. I, mean, I, I, I could be a Clark Kent, <laughs> and then I could be a Superman. <laughs> Wrestle cougars. Wrestle. Oh, okay. No, you know what? Um, I think our work for tonight is done. I mean, you should just go ahead, baby. Just stick your clothes in. You should go now. I understand. Uh, you know, I, I'll wait. Here, let me just get that for you. You sure you want me to roll? Because I could put in some extra work. You just won't forget. <laughs> Scare me. What are you doing here? Yeah, well, I, I was, was taking a nap. Uh, yeah, uh, Latrell said I could use the room. I, I didn't even think you'd be here. Cheryl, whose is this? That ain't yours. <laughs> I don't shop at the 99 cent store. Yeah, baby. You Uncle Gerald, who was that? I didn't hear nothing. Down, down, down! Don't think you can wear boots! Oh! Oh! I'm unique, what the hell? Uncle Joe, I'm 100% going to be here, baby! Come on, now, we, we, we grown. Uncle Gerald can't have a little love in his life. Come on back to the room. I say don't come out. I'm sorry, baby. I just got you. I need I'm sorry. But bounce, bounce. Give me that bag. So can I finish what I started? I am speechless. Oh, so that's a yes. Good. Mm. Are you serious, T? That little worm of a man can't match you like that. Girl, that's terrible. Did you work out? No. Look, Gilbert was on me so tough, I thought I was gonna have to mace his ass. <laughs> He's just a kid. It was an honest mistake. Jaden Smith is a kid. This was a grown-ass man who lives with his mama. <laughs> is that on top of the whole uncle drama, you poor thing? Uh, poor thing. She needs her own reality show, Black Cougar Town. Yo, your uncle and I'm unique. 
was it really going down? Luckily, I was spared the details. Just out of curiosity, why do you think he and I need to get cooked up? Oh. No, know, beats the hell out of me. Hmm. Same reason people climb Mount Everest, because he crazy. Have you told Latrell? Not yet, but I don't think he's going to be happy about mm -mm. it. Why? Does he call himself liking her or something? <laughs> I don't know. Why you call yourself liking Latrell or something? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back. If I didn't know any better, I would say that you are going to call Latrell. <gasps> what? what? <laughs> call Latrell? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> was practically giving things away, so I just, you know, just won't be an asset to the team. Is my father in his office? Oh, not yet. Um, he just called and said he'll be on his way. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Hello? Bitch! I told you not to call me today! I told you I'm having a conversation with you today! Okay. <laughs> like I was saying, about the other night, and me and Gerald were, oh, you know... <laughs> Please. You're grown. Well, yes, I am, but I was wondering if we could just keep this little secret from Mr. Jones. See, because he hired me because of my professionalism. I wouldn't want him to think any less of me. Mm. You feel me? Oh, <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I knew you would, girl. I knew you would. Thank you. Oh. I'm unique. Huh? Yes? You don't think I'm just gonna let this whole thing slide now, do you? Oh, what you talking about? You have clowned me since the day I got here. You make fun of my clothes, my hair, and the list just goes on. Well, see, that was before I got saved. <laughs> see, that was back then, you know? So, by who? Captain save a <laughs> Okay, well, how can I make it up to you? Hmm? Wow. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Don't be talking to me. I'll, I'll be in. Well, while I'm thinking, why don't you wash my car? Oh! So, you just gonna uh, hold this up over my head as long as you can, huh? Pretty much. It's called leverage. Let me dumb it down. Juice. <laughs> that is correct. The seller is willing to carry paper and cover costs. That is great, Mr. Hawkins. I will open escrow immediately. <laughs> yes! <gasps> Yes. Did you start the tail end of that conversation? But it sounded like a winning proposition. It was. I just closed a deal on an eight-unit building. Escrow will close in 60 days. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, where's your little intern at? Let's just say that that didn't work out. You know, I'm a man who loves to say I told you so. You see, I know what it takes to build a thriving business from the ground up. Uh, the day I conceived the vision for Dell Jones Realty, I was at the Parisian uh, room. Daddy, is this going to be one of those stories about how you went to school in the snow with no shoes on your feet and had to walk two miles? She was lucky if you had feet. <laughs> and it was five miles. But I made it. No shirt on my back. And I didn't need any help from any damn intern. I did it the old-fashioned way. Hard work and dedication. Thank you for that moment in black history. <laughs> I'm your daddy. That's what I do. So, uh, what's the deal with your nickel slick Uncle Gerald? Has he done like you young folks say and bump? I think you, you mean bounce. I do? He, he's still lurking about. <laughs> Daddy, in a way, I feel like it would be disrespectful to Mom if 